Hello everybody, full moon in Aries, opposite Libra, so it's about self and others. This is my video for today, no it's not actually, it's about clairvoyance. I'm going to talk a bit about clairvoyance because I think it's a difficult subject actually and lots of people love it. I love readings, I've had lots of them and in fact when I had a very difficult time many years ago with a very difficult man, they, these girls say, and men, saved my life. So basically it's about whether you can really trust them nowadays because years ago of course they were much more simplified, nowadays things are much more complex and I think much more psychological. So what set me off on this was a very strange reading I had. Well, the reading wasn't strange, but the, the situation was strange, and you know, quite recently I thought I must talk about this because I think people are always saying, oh, they're no good, but it's not that. The, the, the girls, are, some of them are absolutely brilliant. You see, it depends where you are in consciousness. This is my experience. There's so many different levels of consciousness. It depends how high you could go as to how clear the information is that you're receiving. Basically, clairvoyance is seeing, clairaudience is hearing, clairsentience is feeling, which is what I have. I don't see, I'm not clairvoyant, I'm not clairaudient. I think I do get kind of intuition, intuitive thing. It's not quite so exciting because you don't have any confirmation really. So um, it, that's basic, and mediumship is something different again. They are able to contact people in the afterlife and bring through messages. Sometimes they overlap. Clairvoyants are quite good at that too and of course there's lots of phone lines but I find some of the internet ones are pretty good indeed I found two very special girls that uh, seem to be very accurate and I think it depends on the background too I think one in particular has got psychology training and so forth I think you have to have so many aspects to your personality that you can call on or that the spirit guides can call on to give information to those asking for help basically that's how it works so but it, it is tricky because, <laughs> I mean, they say, but honestly, when I was going through a difficult time, just to have someone to talk to, whether it was true or not, was really, really helpful. I've never found, actually, I've never found anyone to be untruthful or difficult or hurtful. I've had a couple of tricky ones, but nothing, they're very careful what they say. They won't discuss sort of health issues for instance you know they they don't fortune telling some of it is fortune telling but some of it i think it's mostly guidance as to what to do it, i'm an astrologer well i i use astrology and and clairvoyance and there's lots of different cards they use different packs of cards there's the runes there's the, the astrology of course there's so many different tools that one can use these days to get information basically the cards and the birth chart and so forth they're just tools for you to tune into to bring the energy from another plane to give to the person involved and of course a lot of people don't really want to hear the truth i have found in my astrological t teachings and whatever you can have something very clear in front of you First of all, we've got to think, do you tell the person? Because it could not be, and it may not be true. It may not be, you have to be very, very careful. But sometimes it's as clear as day, but the person won't admit it. So it is a very difficult area. So I'll tell you this little story that happened to me, because I'm not sure what it's, I, it hasn't spoiled my faith, but I think one has to be very, very discerning, really discerning. Don't take it as red, because things change we do have free will no matter what is told you you have free will at the end of a day to choose see these people pick up they pick up from uh, the realm of illusion a lot of it which is could be couldn't be you know it's all iffy and you can choose what to do with it so to remember that and not to take it all on heart I and mean, i i was told once that i would die at the age of so and so and <laughs> I'm still here. So anyway, the story is, um, I think I've mentioned this chap in a previous um, video about how he hurt me deeply by thinking I was a spiritualist. Not that I was hurt about the word, but it was the misunderstanding that hurt me. And for weeks before that, I'd been having readings from lovely clairvoyance, did so many different ones. I'm a bit addictive at times, I must admit. I get very lonely at some of the talk to, especially on the internet, because they got they are very clever anyway this particular read I had lots of readings and they all said the same thing this man is going to come into your life well of course that's 
<laughs> and they say that a lot, but this was tr this was very very sincere, and it was coming through. The man was going to come into my life, his soulmate was going to help me. It was such a brilliant, brilliant reading from so many. So when you get a lot saying the same thing, you have to sort of say, well, let's go, you know, let's take it on board. But at the same time, I'm always afraid to believe the good things in case you get disappointed. So it's a very fine balance to, to take, really. So I was looking forward to this man coming into my life in a way. And he did, he did. But unfortunately, um, he was somebody else's husband. <laughs> and so all the readers, they hadn't, they hadn't said that and perhaps they couldn't see that. It was just this wonderful being coming into my life. And he is very sweet and kind and he's probably a soulmate. There's a very powerful connection there. And I think I've mentioned this before, but wives do get jealous. And um, I can understand that, you know, we get on well as a friend. Although we, we had an upset, and I think it was about four or five months ago. I think I've mentioned it. I won't go into it again now. And we sort of parted company for a while. And I had a very strong feeling Now these are the things you should listen to I take a I've got some lovely cards and I always take a card and I think no what do I really feel apart from what's coming out on the cards um, and I, I've, I felt that he, he was a very strong cellmate and, and I had to reconnect which I did and we're getting on okay but he's not the man of my life obviously somebody else's husband <laughs> they usually are <laughs> so uh, that, that's, that's but the story and I don't go now that's interesting because all these readers are so convinced all the cards are coming out with the same thing and da, 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 da. so what happened I mean it was true in a way but the whole story wasn't being told and that is sometimes the trouble with mediumship they get bits and pieces you can't really ask questions because they just get what's coming through and I find that very frustrating at least with clairvoyance you can ask questions so people say I'm clairvoyant I don't I think it's clairsentient and again I'm just going to mention briefly about the different dimensions because that's something else we have to take into consideration nowadays when you read when you get a card or you've got a reading for somebody you're picking up a certain pattern of energy within them that matches within the, their soul sort of thing you know and it is quite difficult the interpretation is very important and quite tricky because we're all at different levels of understanding and progression and so forth and you have different planes to consider you have you know the astral the mental and, other, and it depends on where the person is working at within themselves and their own development as to what the clairvoyant can pick up and she may be picking up something from say 20 lifetimes ago or 20 lifetimes ahead and this is the difficulty you can't you can't guarantee timing you can't guarantee the place it could be the illusion the verb of illusion and that's what you know a lot of people tune into that and and all beyond and it depends on the reader how conscious they are how they develop they are how clear they are and their own experience and so forth as to what can be used by the spirit guides because they're the ones that give the information sometimes you get the information directly depending depends on how you work but the spirit guys can only use what they've got available if you know what I mean so it's a very tricky area I mean it really is so um, if you're having readings I mean they're, they're, they're fun and they do help a lot but you have to pick and choose what you think and they say that the readers always say that don't take on board exactly what I'm saying just pick and choose what you really really want to, 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 to do so I think um, yeah and, and also don't forget we've got I don't know if you know much about all this, but it's to do with we all have ourselves in multi, we're all living multi dimensionally. We have lots of parts of ourselves in different planes of existence. Some of us are on different planets, even. Sounds a bit far fetched, but you know, we all, all have these different parts of ourselves working on different planes. We also have what they call magical bodies, the part of ourselves that we've left behind in different planes in different lifetimes. And I think it's such a thing as a designer double. I don't know what that means, but I know I've had one. And I think that's another story for another day because it caused me a lot of trouble. That people were, I, it was doing things that I didn't know and people were seeing it as me. That's tricky. So it is a big subject, but I just wanted to mention it because um, I think we're all looking, well we are, most of us looking for guidance and help and what ifs and we don't know what to do and at the end of the day you have to listen to your inner spirit really, that's the only thing that's the truth for you. So no matter what somebody says, if it doesn't seem right, don't take it on board, just 
check it out. I find if you've been given some information, no matter where it comes from, if you leave it for a day or two, if it gets stronger, that's usually accurate. If it goes away, that's usually not the truth. I think it was the Master Jesus says, nothing real can be threatened. And the unreal does not exist. Sorry, I forgot the complete phrase. But it was only, only the, only the <laughs> unreal can, the real cannot be threatened. The unreal does not exist. And that's very true. The more real something is, the more strong it is and it gets stronger. If it's not the truth for you or not the truth at all, at all you can let it go because it sometimes sort of evaporates. Okay, that's 10 minutes. Gosh, I could do a lot more on this. It's very interesting. But anyway, f do for now. Enjoy the full moon. Don't get in a paddy. <laughs> a lot of fire about. Some people, some teachers say the full moon is in the opposite sign. So we're in Libra, really. So the full moon would be in Aries. But the masters say it's actually in the sun sign it belongs to. So that's worth looking up, actually. It's very interesting. So take care, dear ones. I'm off now. Um, see you soon. God bless. Love you lots. Bye.